Kota Kusumo and from Sidoarjo. And now we go to the next topic. At least 115 people have died after flash floods and landslides in Indonesia and East Timor on Sunday. Torrential rain sparked widespread destruction in the Southeast Asian neighbors with up water from overflowing them, submerging thousands of homes. The affected area stretched from Flores Island in eastern Indonesia to East Timor. In, in Indonesia alone, 86 people have died with dozens still missing. Officials warned the toll could still rise. The mood and the extreme weather have become a serious challenge and the debris spilling up has hampered the search and rescue team. Indonesian Disaster Mitigation Agency spokesman Raditya Jati told reporters, We suspect many people are big buried with but, but it's not clear how many are missing. His colleague Alfon Hadabetan, head of the East Flock Disaster Agency said, The evacuees are spread out. There are hundreds in each sub-district but many others are staying at home. They need medicine, food, blankets. At least 27, 27 people have also died in East Timor, also known as Timor Leste. News agencies quote official in the island nation says, Many of the victims are believed to be from the country's capital Delhi. Indonesian President Joko Widodo has offered this condolence and urged people to follow the advice from official during, during, during extreme weather period. I have ordered for disaster relief effort to be conducted quickly and well. For example, for health service assistance, availability of logistics and basic needs for the displaced and the reparation of infrastructure, he said. One woman's body was recovered from the from the sea shore on the island of Labata after being swept down a mountainside. There was a rumbling sound and the flood swept away home. Everything. Her son Juna Wita told the AVP news agency. Landslide and flash flood are not uncommon across the Indonesian archipelago during the rainy season. In January this year, 14, 40 people died when the flash flood hit the town of Sumedang on Java. And last September, at least 11 people were killed in landslides on Borneo, while a few months earlier, dozens died in Sulawesi. The country disaster agency has estimated that nearly half of the country population some 100 and 125 million people live in part of the country at, at risk of landslide. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.